CIT TV News Update, I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us. His Excellency Governor Martin Roper, accompanied by his wife Lissy, visited the District of West Bay on Friday. The tour started on Boggy Sand Road at the Powell's Museum, where the governor was joined by Speaker of the House and West Bay MLA, the Honorable McKeever Bush. Constituency visits were made with MLA's Tara Rivers and Captain Eugene Ebanks as they visited residents in their areas of West Bay. The group also visited with a number of the district's residents, including Mr. Kem Jackson, who is known for catboat building. They also visited Michelle and Rolston uh, Haylock's home, as well as the home of Captain Dallas Ebanks and Mr. Rudy Powery. They made a stop at Mrs. Francine Jackson's home for tea and to meet her family, including former head of the Cayman UK office, Mrs. Jennifer Dilbert. Now, throughout the day, they met residents and had the chance to talk to them about West Bay. The day-long tour ended at the new Children's Park on Ebanks Road, where a social was held for a few dozen people. We understand His Excellency was treated to cassava cake, swanky, and tea while in the district. Meantime, last Thursday, the Department of Commerce and Investment hosted an anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism uh, finance and capacity building workshop. That happened for real estate agents, brokers, and property developers. The goal of the workshop is to assist these types of businesses in becoming compliant with international standards and anti-money laundering and counter-financing of terrorism laws and regulations. Department of Commerce and Investment staff was joined by an estimated 50 people from the industry. Facilitators included Claudia Brady and Ruben Foster, both from DCI. Finally, those who have plans to participate in the 2019 DG's 5K on Kim and Brack on Sunday, the 15th of September, are being encouraged to take advantage of the following offers, courtesy of the National Airline and Kim and Brack Beach Resort. If you mention the DG's 5K when making your booking at the Kim and Brack Beach Resort, you'll get a 10% discount. You'll also have to provide proof of residency to have the room tax waived. Cayman Airways is also offering a 15% discount to travel between Grand Cayman and Cayman Brack on September, uh, between September the 13th to the 16th. Now the airline discount is now available and the promotional code that you can use is the letter A, the letters H and C, and the number 12. So that's AHC12 for the promotional code. Well, if you'd like to see what's on CIG television on the schedule, you can go online to gis.gov.ky. Be sure to go to the bottom of the home page and click on the publications icon. If you happen to have missed today's news update, you can go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page or the CIG television YouTube channel. I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful and, of course, a very safe night, and hoping you'll join me back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now. have a business in the tourism industry? The Cayman Islands Department of Tourism wants you to get listed on their website. Visit caymanislands.com. It's absolutely free and will give your business added exposure on the number one visited tourism site for the Cayman Islands. Learn more and get listed at www.visitcaymanislands.com forward slash sign up. That's www.visitcaymanislands.com forward slash sign up. Deadline is August 15th for all submissions. Don't wait. Sign up today.
Did you know that planning permission is required for a shed? Did you know you should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required? Did you know planning permission is required to clear land by mechanical means? You should check with the department as a planning and permit application may be required. Boating, fishing and water sports in the Cayman Islands are great, but keep a cool head. Here are seven tips for fun and safe sea outings. Number one, use a checklist to plan your outing. Check the weather forecast, make a float plan and share it with someone who is remaining on land stating where you're going, with whom, and when you're expected to return. Visit your nearest marine supply store to get your safety gear. This includes signaling mirrors, whistles, and a flare kit. It's also very important to have onboard flotation devices and life vests for each person. There are different types of vests. Some are for water sport activities, such as snorkeling, and others are for going on offshore boating or on fishing trips. Number two, these items can be lifesavers in case of an accident or bad weather. Number three, use a motor kill switch, especially if you're boating alone. In case of a leak or breakdown, always stay with the boat until help arrives. If you capsize, an emergency beacon or locator device can send a distress signal to inform the authorities of your location. Larger flares will indicate distress to a boat, airplane, or search and rescue officials. Number four. In addition to sunscreen, food, and beverages, it would be smart to have a cell phone. Make sure your marine radio works. Cayman boaters use channel 16 to communicate. Number five. Also, don't forget your anchor and sufficient rope. Number six, boat operators should be familiar with the local waters and reefs, as well as the capabilities and functions of the vessels they are using. Always obey the rules of the sea and the marine environment and have courtesy for others. Number seven, alcohol and salt water do not mix, especially if you're the captain. Some useful contact numbers are 911, the RCIPS Marine Base is 649-7710 and the Port Authority is 949-2055. Smooth sailing all! The Esterly Tibbetts Highway 3-lane roundabout is ready for drivers it's time to make sure you know how to use it. First, know which exit you need to take. Pay attention to lane arrows and signs. Make sure you use your signal to change lanes or exit the roundabout. To turn left, you always approach in the left-hand lane and indicate left. To drive straight ahead, you need to be looking out for signs and road markings indicating which lane to use. Get in one of the lanes marked with a straight through arrow. If turning right, you must use the right-hand lane and indicate accordingly. To use the roundabout safely, remember these three tips. Know your exit, pick your lane, and signal to make your turn.